Hi, this is Sean Weaver with Six String Country. And in this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, classic American tune, and keeping it in the finger-picking Chet Atkins style. So we're going to be building upon some of the concepts explored in the Introduction to Fingerstyle Guitar Techniques lesson. If there's anything that you could use some clarification on or are a little bit confused about still, definitely refer back to that lesson. And with that in mind, we'll get into the tune. In this first section of the tune, we're going to play it nice and slowly out of primarily open chord shapes and with a lot of nice ringing and we won't be into our thumb picking part just yet. That will be to come. But just getting you to play it out of the basic open chord shapes and having some nice independence between your thumb and your finger. So we'll begin on beat four. It's a pickup measure and just the open B string, the second string. And then the G chord will fall on beat, will beat one, swing low. And just your thumb on the sixth string and your index and your middle on the fourth and third strings. And I'm doing this thing with my right hand where I'm sort of rolling through the chord a little bit. It's not indicated on the page like that. You couldn't really notate something like that. It's, it's just, it happens so fast, it's a feel thing. But you can either strike a chord completely together grabbing everything at the same time, like this. Or you can, one after the other, just index, I'm sorry, thumb, index, middle, in very quick succession. And that's how I'm doing it. It gives it a little bit more expression. So uh, it goes. So that's just G to C in the chords, beginning with the G and then climbing up through the bass note of the second fret of the fifth string and then move to the C chord and just it's like half of a C chord that you might play right. so you don't have we will be moving from the key of G where we began in our nice chord intro uh, very nice and just kind of understated nice and relaxed and now we're going to begin with the melody on the E string and open E and move into the key of C and thumb pick it. So the melody is going to be starting here.
Now underneath that, we'll obviously have a bass pattern and uh, That sounds a little bit weird. It's weird right now. It's because um, I am playing it very slowly, but when you play it in context, although what's written on the page looks like one, two, three, four in double time, really you're more feeling the rhythm like one and two and three and four, and one, two, three, four. That's more what's going on in my mind. Um, but as far as what's on the page, you know, they are notated as quarter notes. So, um, but uh, just hammering on from the open string to the fretted pitch over that C chord. And uh, so it will sound like. So your bass pattern is, again, it's just a three string alternating bass, six string. I'm sorry, starting on the fifth string, I mean to say. Fifth string, fourth string, sixth string, fourth string. And all out of the C. You just listen to that, it'd be pretty boring, but you add in the melody, it gets pretty cool. And then we're gonna walk down again. So, uh, that leads us to measure 37 is where that, that walk down will start, but we've already sort of done that. The melody, I believe, is just a little bit different there where I'm walking down. Um, Because before we had been up here, remember, where the melody had been a high section. But for this one, we're gonna start out here and out of a regular E chord shape, again, as I believe I've, I've done before in other lessons, I am not using the regular guitar book instructional, what you normally find in like any kind of instructional book might tell you to use these three fingers to make an E chord. I need all the fingers I can get in the left hand, and this is common to playing solo guitar because we've got we've got our thumb and four other fingers in a lot of cases, and we need to hold down a bass pattern and get some melodic stuff going on. So I'm sandwiching my second finger here between the uh, second fret on and on the second fret between the fourth and fifth strings, and that's getting both those, and then my first finger is getting the first fret of the third string, that's how I'm getting my E chord. And it frees up my third finger and my fourth, fourth finger to do anything I need above that melodically. So starting out with the melody, uh, just isolated the first part of this melody in the key of E will sound like this. Open E string, and then I'm sliding in. The melody actually is the G sharp at the fourth fret, but I slide in for a nice bluesy sound. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's just measures 49 through 52. So your high E note is a whole note. Hold that through the whole measure, and just underneath that, you're getting your bass, uh, alternating bass. It's string six, four, five, four. And then at the next measure, you're starting with your alternating bass stays the same. And melodically, the next part of your melody is starts on the and of three, sliding into beat four, stays the same. So again, I always encourage you, break it down into its smallest part. If you're having any trouble on the guitar, you can become your best own teacher just by doing that. So once you're there, the C9 chord, I'm just gonna recommend you use your left hand uh, index finger and you can get the, uh, the low C note at the eighth fret. I'm articulating it with my thumb pick, so. Because I like to hear the root of the chord at the end, it's just a nice bass note. If you don't wanna do that, you can disregard it. It'll sound fine if you just do. 
if you just do that. So you can, you can have your choice. So now what I'd like to do is just play that final section for you nice and slowly to give you a bit of context. And uh, we'll take it out from there. 